Hello there, welcome back down the rabbit hole. I've missed you, yes I have. I am Uncle Icky, and I'm back once again with a new trip report for all of you guys. Uh, now, it's not going to be all rainbows and sunshines, this one. No, no. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the dark side of psilocybin and a very scary experience I had with it. Now, I really neglected telling this story because it was immensely personal as well as fucking horribly terrifying. Now... To kind of give you guys, the, you know, the environment and mindset, this happened about six months ago, and as I said in my, you know, or, you know, told in my LSD homecoming video, that year sucked for me, and um, I had really negative thoughts throughout, uh, you know, throughout it, and this was like the peak moment of that. Um, at that point in time, you know, I was in this ticking time bomb of bullshit, and I was still using psychedelics, mainly LSD, but what it was doing was like giving me this strength that I normally couldn't possess in every day. So when I would have these psychedelic experiences, it would give me this positive push forward, like hang in there, bro. Like you got this, you're strong. And this was going on. So I continued to use psychedelics in this negative state of mind. And then this happened. So six months ago, it was a weekend, and like I said, I was in this ticking time bomb bullshit. I had no money, no job. I was about to lose my place. I couldn't find a job. There was really nothing I could do. So I was like, fuck it, man. I'm going to party. So I was hanging out with some friends. We head to this you know, EDM desert event that I wanted to go to. Um, it was like a fuck ton of people were going to it, so you know, fucking get away from the world for a little bit. I pick up my friend Hope. Um, I think I had taken a hit of acid um, that I had saved up. We're on our way there, and she mentions that she has mushrooms. I'm like, yeah, dude, you want to take some shrooms, bro? Got groovy. I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty fucking lit. So she gives me a handful of mushrooms. Don't know how much you are, and I knock them motherfuckers back. So we get to this rave, and we're chilling, right? We're having a fucking bomb time, dude. There's people everywhere. We're all sitting. Like, this isn't full on desert. Like, they did this rave in this like cement pivotal spot so you can just like kick back relax and like chill and that's what we proceed to do you know blunts are being passed around music's playing you know i'm starting to enter that psychedelic vortex like where your brain feels like it's laffy taffy and it's slowly getting pulled time is becoming irrelevant i'm really starting to feel the mushrooms dude and everything's fucking great at this point you know we're all chilling um i'm tripping balls and like everything becomes so ridiculously interesting to me like everyone like i'm sitting around just people watching you know and like people's like facial expressions like yeah <laughs> like dude this is i'm like damn like crazy and like just seeing watching people talk to each other just was just so interesting to me like i'm like wow the human race is a crazy species like that guy's literally making noises with his mouth and this other guy is absorbing them in his head and understand like they're understanding each other like just stupid shit like that was just becoming so fascinating just little episodes of that throughout i'm like i'm loving it dude like closing my eyes then and out and shit hope's like yo want to finish these hands me another little bit of mushrooms i'm like yeah i do want to finish that shit so i eat, eat them i'm chilling you know the night's grow like the you know i'm still going up the hill right the, the trip is still setting and everything's great. I closed my eyes and like there was this this thing. And I have no idea how to describe it, but it's like someone lit a flame in my stomach. Like I just felt like a spark of whoa, difference. You know what I'm saying? Like something interrupted my positivity pool. Like someone threw a rock in my pond. And like it rippled. And like I it's like I could almost like immediately felt it and I started like, what the fuck is that? Like, what's going on? And then like, the more I tried to understand it, the more confusing it became to me. And like, the more confusing it became to me, the more scary it became to me. And so I'm like, okay, I need to get the fuck out of my head. Like, this is tripping me the fuck out. So I like, try to like tune into the conversations that are going on around me. And like, I can't understand what anyone's saying. Like, I've had this happen on psilocybin before and I think I've talked about it, but it's like, where you could be looking me in the face talking to me, I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. Like, I'm hearing, like, Charlie Brown, blah, 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 or, like, <laughs> like, I can tell the pod, like, the conversation's all positive. Everyone's laughing. I just can't get a grip of what anyone's fucking saying. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, 
I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy either. The rave's like, oh man, I'm freaking out, dude. Or like, you know, I don't want to be. Do you want to have a grilled cheese? I'll change you my T-shirt for grilled cheese. Like, so I'm just like, okay, I need to just chill the fuck out. And like, oh man, this sucks. I don't want to be here. Like, why am I here? And then this is where like the Niagara Falls of negativity happens, dude. All like the bad shit I've been thinking about and building up over the past, like, I'd say a couple months at that point, all started out pouring. Like, why am I here? Like, this is stupid. Like, I don't want to be here. Like, why am I here? Like, I'm like this and that. Like, this sucks. And then all these suicidal thoughts started pouring through my head, dude. Like, I just want to die. Like, fuck. And I'm like, just like losing my mind, dude. And Hope kind of catches on and looks at me. She's like, hey, are you okay? And I mean, like I said, I want to be that guy like, you know, ruins everyone's fucking. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. She's like, are you sure? Because you look really out of it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> I want to die. And she's like, what? I, was like, I just want to fucking die, dude. I'm getting out of here. And then I got up. She's like, no, what the fuck? Like, come back. So I like start walking away from her. And then, like, dude, literally, I go blind. Like, I can't see shit. And I just fall on the ground. And, like, I just start fucking letting everything out. I'm like, dude, I, like, I just leave me alone. Like, I want to kill myself, dude. And she's like, dude, why the fuck are you talking like that? Like, what? What the fuck's going on? So I start literally spewing everything out. And I wish I could tell you guys in detail, but it's very personal. A lot of personal shit was going on with, like, my family. And, like, now on top of that, like, I always prided myself in, like, getting away from it. And now, like, I'm back to, like, I had nowhere to run. Like, nowhere to turn to, like... Everything I seemed like I was doing wouldn't fucking work. And I just, like, death was so attractive to me. Like, at that moment, like, I never wanted to die so much. And, like, so I'm sitting there and I'm just, like, leave me alone. Just, like, leave me alone. She's, like, trying to control me. Like, dude, just, like, calm the fuck down. Like, let's talk about this. And I'm just sitting there crying, dude, telling her all, like, all this shit in my life. And, like, people are, like, walking past, like, yo, is he okay? So, you're like, yeah, he's fine, he's fine. I'm, like, dude, like, so then it just kept fucking with me, like, I don't want to be here. I'm sitting in the middle of a fucking rave crying, like, I want to fucking leave. So then we, we just kind of, like, do this back and forth battle, like, dude, just sit down, chill out. So finally she calms me down, starts talking to me, and, you know, starts, you know, spewing that, like, yo, you mean so much to people and this and that. And, like, while she was saying all this positive stuff, dude, like, my mind just wouldn't listen to it. Like, I was envisioning death as, like, clouds and happiness and, like, nothing matters, bro. Like, peace, like, the breakthrough, of the, like, just oneness. And, like, it just, and, like, I was seeing, like, really, it sounds stupid as fuck, but, like, I was seeing, like, this game over shit under my eyes. And, like, I was like, yes, bro. And, like, I don't know how long this fucking, this, these thoughts went through, but she's sitting there talking me through about it, talking me through about it. And then, like... Eventually, we get get to a standpoint, I'm like, oh, I don't know. She's like, yeah, you know, just like just like this and that. I forgot the advice, dude. I wasn't even really listening. Someone comes up and her and is like, yo, we need you over here. Like, we got the situation, da, 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 which I'm not going to talk about. But she's like, no, I can't. Like, it's okay. I'm like, dude, just go. Just go. Like, it's fine. She's like, no, I'm not going to fucking leave you here, dude. Like, I'm not going to leave you here talking like this. I'm like, dude, it's fine. Like, I swear. I promise and everything. I won't, I'll be right here when you come back. Like, I just want to be alone and just think. And she's like, dude, promise me you're not going to do anything. I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, okay, I'll be back here in like five minutes. So she leaves. I'm sitting there. People are walking by and they're like, you know, looking, are you okay, man? I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm all right, I'm all right. Still wiping my eyes, crying. I'm like, dude, like, so I get up and like, I just want to fucking walk away. So I walk away and like, at this point, like, I'm not like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go kill myself or anything. I should really calm me down. I was like just wanting just to like reflect on everything and I'm like god damn like oh, I don't want like I don't want this all to be true like I just don't want this to be my life right now so start staring at this half moon looking overlooking this mountain and it was incredible you know just staring at it I'm just crying and I took it all in and I understood it I am a fucking failure I am a huge fucking failure I am an unemployed broke alcoholic with no positive understanding of the foreseeable future and life sucks dick but I don't want to die like that I don't want to get you know give up and throw in the town that's my legacy is he lived to be a nobody and then killed himself so I took it in and I understood I don't like you know like I don't know what the fuck's going on like I don't know why I why me kind of thing like well i don't know why i have to go through this i believe i'm a good person you know i feel like i try to do 
do good things in the world. I don't know why me, but the most interesting part of it was I want to figure, I want to see where this fucking takes me. And the voice of Terrence McKenna popped in my fucking head and said, take it easy, dude, but take it. And I understood, and I, you know, I, I, wanna, I don't want to say, like, I'm magically healed. I was still in this negative bullshit pot of diarrhea, and I had no idea what was going on. But it was just this, you got this, dude. You got to do what you got to fucking do feeling. And I felt so much better, sort of. I mean, I was still, like, shooken up and, like, holy fuck, like, yeah, Ness. But I just had this, like fuck it you know fuck it feeling dude like whatever sit down at the rave chill out and it was super fun like i have a morbid uh um what the f- a morbid humor i guess you could say like i this isn't it's not it shouldn't be funny but it was funny to me after all this going on i left the spot that hope told me to stay at so she's on a fuck ton of mushrooms you know one of her friends wants to kill himself she goes back he's not there like so she runs around freaking out trying to find me and i was just like chilling dude like what up man like yo you good like i'm good and then after that i fucking after that night i went back to my dad's and kind of started from phase one and yeah, it was the right choice. I mean, it was a struggle, but I fucking made it through and did what I had to do. And here I am today, you know. So yeah, the moral of this fucking story is do not do what I did. If you're in a hard place in life, I mean, psychedelics, you know, you know handling with psychedelics is not the thing to do. Especially if you're an, you know, inexperienced stripper. Everyone uses these tools in different ways. I tend to do them in different ways. But in in the end, set and setting is absolutely key. And always have someone there to talk to. Because the power that these have on the human consciousness is just fucking godlike. So always be careful and always fucking, you know, have that outlet or, you know, someone there for you. And, you know be in your right state of mind because i'm a crazy motherfucker dude and i would 10 zero out of 10 when i do this shit again it was it was terrifying um with that being said though um i know how it is to fill in the dumps you know that's another point of the story i know how it is to just want to give up and i want you guys to all know that i love you guys so fucking much you guys are all my fucking family and you guys have been there for me and no matter what life fucking throws at you guys I am always fucking here for you no matter what. Never be afraid to reach out and talk to someone because all we are all we have together is this fucking family, this life and and I'm so fucking thankful for this, you know, even as much as it sucked this experience, I'm so fucking thankful for my friend Hope, everyone in my life right now and yeah, dude, you can fucking do it too. So don't ever give up hope. I am your uncle Icky and I'm here forever, baby. Peace, love and smoke DMT.